Bandao allows you to lend your NFT and borrow ETH for it. So basically it provides you liquidity for your illiquid JPEGs and that is a really cool idea. Uh, it has huge importance for OpenSea collections which are basically top of the collections that are like board API clubs because a lot of people actually put their monkeys in Bandao and uh, take out ETH to do some other stuff with it. And because of that there are a bunch of problems right now because a lot of uh, people are facing liquidation uh, so basically what that means Bandao will take over the NFTs uh, if they won't pay up uh, the, col the collateral. So basically uh, it's really interesting what's happening right now. Uh, the, the service itself uh, is very easy to use. You can just connect with the wallet with MetaMask as always uh, and then basically just jump in uh, with your NFTs. There's a bunch of collections that is, that is being used. So total supported collections is seven. Uh, those are basically the top collections. So Bored API Club, CryptoPunks, Mutant API Club, Doodles, Space Doodles, Azuki, Clonex. Uh, so actually all together it's like uh, actually five collections, right? Because this is Bored API Club with Mutant, that's one thing, and Doodles, Space Doodles I counted as one as well. Uh, so basically it's basically just five collections. Uh, you can look at the statistics on, on Dune Analytics to see uh, that mostly Band DAO is being used for Board API Club and Mutant API Club, and the total collateral value is uh, 20, well, 22,000 uh, ETH, which is really, really a lot. And the problem that there are many people facing liquidations right now on Band DAO might actually influence the, uh, the floor on OpenSea of apes. Uh, which is really interesting because we, if there will be more liquidations, then probably Bandao will uh, inherit these NFTs and then will be trying to sell them on the open market, dumping and the price even lower. So that might be really, really interesting. There's a bunch of uh, talks on the, on Twitter about that, especially if you look for the NFT statistics uh, Twitter. I think I should have it somewhere here. Yep. Uh, so here's NFT statistics, Punk9059. I really recommend this profile because uh, they, they're doing pretty nice, uh, pretty neat analysis in the end um, and they're discussing the, the fact that uh, it, it's basically a put option if you uh, put your NFT within the band down and then basically what kind of impact that could have on uh, NFTs in general. So the, the, the claim here is that probably it won't uh, make the, the, the price go down so much but there will be some impact in the end. Uh, and uh, as you can see, mostly Bandao is trending right now, so there are a lot of people interesting in the subject. Uh, so it's well, well, worth checking out. Uh, yeah, but as you can see, uh, Bandao have been running for four months, 27 days, so five, five months also. When it started, basically, uh, NFTs were still at the top. Uh, it was probably just before, uh, just before the other side drop if I remember correctly. So back then Bored API Club was something at around 120 to 100 ETH per, uh, per ape. Uh, it fall down to like 70 something I guess or maybe even 69 right now. Uh, so there's been a huge drop in price uh, for, for Bored Apes and moreover with that uh, people who actually put that in a bend down they, they facing liquidations right, right now because of that. Uh, but the concept itself is really interesting. It, this, like, it, it really goes in this direction of pseudoswap that I've been discussing in the recent video, uh, that you basically can treat NFTs like altcoins with pictures and really trade them as those. Uh, you have different tools for providing liquidity and making illiquid assets more liquid. Uh, and Bandao is one of those. It goes in a different direction than Pseudoswap because Pseudoswap is basically you having this band curve and a liquidity pool. Uh, Bandao goes in the direction of actually you can put uh, your NFT as a collateral and then just take, take something which is super liquid like ETH or other, uh, or other crypto. So that, that is super interesting. Uh, uh, so yeah, check it out. If you, uh, it's really interesting right now for, the, uh, for what's happening. So also check out the discussion on Twitter. Uh, for Bandao, if you look for like Bandao or Band Dao liquidations, then probably you see a lot of uh, topics being uh, being talked about. Uh, apart from that, the, the tool itself is great. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I'm not using it because I don't have an ape, but uh, I really like the idea of uh, having uh, NFTs as a collateral and being able to pull, take uh, if and do something else with that. 
So check it out, especially if you have one of the NFTs on the list. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.